Let's talk about Pompeii disease. So first of all, this disease goes by many names. Uh, acid alpha 14 glucosidase deficiency, which defines the enzyme deficiency. Uh, acid maltase deficiency, also glycogen stores disease 2, meaning it's a glycogen stores disease, as, as well as Pompeii disease. This is a inherited autosomal recessive mutation on chromosome 17. And the main defect that occurs is that glycogen accumulates in the lysosomes because the linkages cannot be hydrolyzed and the glycogen cannot be used. So clinical features, there is an infantile onset form that is more severe and it starts at around two months of age. They will present with cardiomyopathy and cardiomegaly and secondary hepatomegaly. The EKG can show giant QRS complexes, and this, this is also the main cause of death. There can be generalized hypotonia, and a muscle biopsy, if it is done, will show vacuolar myopathy and glycogen storage within uh, lysosomes. There can be respiratory distress due to early involvement of the diaphragm, and there can be feeding difficulty and failure to thrive. On the labs, there can be elevated muscle enzymes, such as CK and AST and LDH. The late onset form can happen at any age, but it can present with delayed motor milestones, as well as a progressive proximal myopathy with early diaphragm involvement and respiratory failure. The cardiomyopathy may or may not be present. So the diagnosis is made by newborn screening, and in a blood spot, it can detect low acid alpha 14 glucosidase uh, activity, and the diagnosis is confirmed by genetic sequencing. So the reason that early diagnosis is important is because the earlier you start the treatment, the better it is. So al glucosidase alpha is the treatment, and it works in both infantile and late onset Pompe disease. In the infantile onset disease, it can reduce mortality by 80 to 95 percent. It can even improve or normalize motor development and cardiac size. And remember, the cardiomyopathy was the primary cause of death. You can also monitor urine glucose tetrasaccharide and a lower level is better, and a higher level means that the treatment may need to be increased. The urine glucose tetrasaccharide is not uh, increased in the late onset disease, so it cannot be used for monitoring, but in the late onset disease, alglucosidase alpha reduces mortality and improves pulmonary and motor function. So for the prognosis, and this will be without treatment, in the infantile onset form, death usually comes in the first one or two years from the cardiomyopathy. And even with treatment, if you are cross-reactive immunologic material negative, meaning you have absent enzyme activity, you'll still have a poor prognosis with treatment. Now for the late onset disease, without treatment, death usually occurs in the second to third decade from respiratory failure because remember these patients will not always have cardiomyopathy.